in life, you have to take the pace that love goes. You don't just find love. You don't force being in love. You don't force folly in love. You just become Juan Pablo Galavis. Much like love, pace is this weird, uncontrollable element of public speaking. And the best way to control the uncontrollable is to first understand how you already speak naturally and how you can vary that to drive the emotions that you want your audience to feel. And that's exactly why in this week's episode of Master Talk, we're going to be covering pace and how to conquer it. Hi everyone, my name is Brandon. I'm the founder of Master Talk, your go-to channel to mastering your talk. And today we're covering probably one of the most challenging elements of public speaking, which is pace. So let's get into it. Number one, fix inconsistencies between your normal speaking voice and your presentation voice. So when you're having lunch with somebody, so you're having lunch with your best friend, you're going to savor every single part of that conversation. You're not in a rush, you're not trying to get anywhere, and you just want to enjoy your day. But when you're in presentations, the general idea is, let me get in this presentation, let me get out in the fastest possible way. Because we don't like presentations and we don't really see it as a lunch with a friend. And that's why for most speakers, there's always an inconsistency between how you regularly speak to your friends and family versus how you speak in a presentation context. And that's also why pace is a very vague and misunderstood subject. That's why what I recommend you do at the beginning is to align both of those speeds. Normally, most speakers speak faster in presentations versus their lunches that they have. So after you start aligning the two, which generally means just speaking slower, but not for everybody, then after you can work towards more advanced tricks. One example of that is that the best speakers in the world can pace at any speed. So let's say I'm st talking really, really, really quickly because there's a, an accident and something bad is happening. And then I can slow down to tell you what the most important part of that accident was. And this is not something I want you to focus on at the beginning because pacing at any speed is very tricky for a beginner. So start by focusing first on aligning both of those speeds. So at the same way that you're having lunch with your best friend is exactly replicated in the way that you would speak to him in a presentation. Number two, have the worst critics in the room determine if your regular speaking voice should be your presentation voice. So what does this mean? After you've aligned both of the speeds from tip number one, you're already in the top 5% of all speakers in the world to give a number. The reason is because most speakers, well, they speak way too quickly or way too slowly. But now that you've aligned the way that you're grabbing lunch with someone versus presenting to that person and now you're at the same speed, now you need to determine if that pace and how quickly you're going is the right pace. So I'll give you a quick personal example to demonstrate this. When I started presenting, I was extremely aggressive and very fast to talk. So I wasn't asking for your attention. I was demanding it. I was like, this needs, well, you need to do this and you need to do that. So naturally, the worst critics in my room said, well, Brendan, you're much too aggressive. You're speaking way too quickly. No one really understands what you're saying. So in your case, the way that you speak in a lunch needs to be the way that you present. And a good analogy and a good way for you to practice this as well is through a video that you have with somebody, you can also determine as a team with your friends and family to see what's the best pace for you. And then after you figure that out, then I'm going to challenge you to try and bring different levels of pace to your presentation. So let's say you're reading a text and you notice that at the beginning, you have a personal story about a very exciting, very thrilling event. You might want to speed up your pace to go through that and create excitement for your audience. What's happening? What's going on? But this is something after you've determined what pace is the right one for you. Another thing, if you're speaking too slow, a great way to speed it up is to take a text. So the speech that you're writing that you've already written 
and you just speak it out much faster. If it's the opposite scenario where you speak too quickly, then what I would challenge you to do is watch speakers on YouTube that are much slower, like me for instance, and try to replicate the pace that that speaker has in their presentation. So let's say normally you speak like this and you see a speaker you like speaks more like this, then you should practice in your basement as you're listening to the video, practicing out loud with that pace. So for me, when I'm watching someone who's slower than me, I would purposefully really try to slow down the pace. So that extra tip will help you realign your speeds that much faster. And finally, number three, acknowledge that your pace will always change based on the time limit and the content you want to present to your audience. Pace is a variable thing. It's not something that is fixed. Depending on the situation you're in and what you're trying to accomplish in a presentation, you, you want to leverage pace in a way that makes sense for the outcome of what you're trying to do. For me, whenever I give presentation keynotes, I have two types of people in an audience. One person who says, I know a lot about public speaking. I don't need tips. So I need to impress that person with something a bit more advanced so they know that I'm credible. And the other category of person that I speak to, which is generally most people, is I don't think I could be a good speaker. I'm not very confident. This is not something I want to do. So by acknowledging the fact that both of these people are going to be in my presentation, how do I appeal to both of them? Well, the way that I do this strategically is I start at the beginning with low pace and a cool personal story about my own vulnerabilities and difficulties as a speaker to buy them into me. But then I present a lot of content during the whole keynote, even if I know that most people will forget most of the tips because the other part of the group will see me as credible. And the outcome that I want is I want all of them to watch the videos at the end because I hope there's something that they can learn from them. See, notice in this example, there's no one answer to pace. I'm actually using all levels of pace to get everyone into the presentation. So what does this mean for you? It means that your presentation always starts with what is the fundamental goal of the presentation. And if the goal of your presentation, like me, is to convince every single person in the room that they can master public speaking, I, and I only have an hour to do it, we both know I can't help them master communication in an hour. So instead, I convince them that it's possible, whether it's through my personal stories, to get them excited about it, and the tips that I give that are so concrete that they need to watch the videos. Much like Juan Pablo taught us, love isn't really something you force. You don't really force being in love, falling in love, but rather you just become. And in that same way, pace, if mastered properly, which will take time, will allow you to drive your audiences towards the emotion you want them to feel whether that emotion is love or really any emotion. And the best part about it is if you're able to get it down to the T, you'll be in the very, very few percentile of speakers who can leverage it to their advantage. As always, if you enjoyed this week's episode of Master Talk, be sure to smash that like button because it would really help me a lot and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. And I'll leave you off with this. Even if you might not be able to master love, if you can master pace, maybe, just maybe, you can drive your audiences towards the outcomes that you want. See you next time, everyone, and take care.